Welcome back everyone, my name is Jug and I got a new Fallout 76 build video for you. This one was requested in the comments section of another video of mine and even though it's not as grand as I'm used to, I think it'll give me a good chance to hit up on some tips that I usually don't cover in my other videos. The entire building is just eight walls and a few roofs, some foundations in there. But that's going to give me so much budget, I'm going to be able to just fill this place up. I got a lot of stuff to cover here, so stick around and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. There's a lot of little buildings just like this and they're scattered all around White Spring. Now the one I'm using right here in particular is right below the bunker here, just a little bit southwest and it's right next to that snake icon on the map. You cannot get rid of this door, at least not right now, so you're going to have to pick it every time you log in. That's not really a big deal to me, I just pick it once and then it's fine. I like to put my camp right about here. That gives me just enough room to reach the water and it gives me enough room for foundations on the opposite side. Now I'm going to go up top here and I just want you to take a look at this. There's plenty of room up here for you to place whatever you wanted to put up here. But I'm going to cover this and the way I'm going to cover it is I'm going to start with a foundation out on the ground and I'm just going to lead it up with walls. Now you could do this anywhere really but when you do it onto a building like this you can match the walls to that building. The problem is it's going to take a few tries. You're not going to get it your first if you get it on your first try you should play the lottery because you're luckier than I am. This takes me a few tries to be able to line this up. That looks about as good as I'm ever going to get it. I think it's safe to go ahead and start dropping the walls in. Just check it over on this side too. And I'm going to go ahead and switch those out so I can put some side walls on. So I'm going to put the proper roof that I actually want to keep. And of course I'm, I'm going to take that those roofs down put them back up, take them down again. I want to be doing that a lot actually. And you will be too if you're making this. It's just, it's the process, the order of things. Some things can go on before others and you got to just keep taking it down, putting it back whenever you need to change something. Very simple, not a whole lot to it. I can go ahead and clean this up, but yeah, I want to make sure I put a wall up here first. You know, really, I could leave the walls off for right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it up there. And go over here and get rid of that. Get rid of, nope, get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And that's all this really is. Uh, I've just taken in-game buildings and just merged them with player-built buildings. I wanted to expand this area, so I'm just dropping a foundation down and I'm trying to line it up with this corner right here. If I can get it lined up, I can then lower it down by bringing it out to, uh, well, I guess, a lowered ground. Which, the only way to do that is just take some foundations, bring them out, just like that. Get rid of those foundations and then freely drop this down. Just pick it up move it down and when you think you got it right right about there okay just go ahead and put your foundations back and it should line up with the edge there Thank you. 
I usually use these railings right here. I guess it really just depends on what you're building. I, you know what I'd like to see is some picket fences. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's looking all right. You know, I should probably get a fence over there, though. Railing. There we go. Now I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I'm just lining this foundation up with the wall. And this time, since I don't have a clear path to low ground, I'm going to bring it up with walls and then just guide it out with ceilings or roofs. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. As far as you need to go with it until you find some land that is actually low enough. Then you're just going to bring the foundation down and then switch all those back. Once you get it all the way back, then you can drop your foundation in. I know I went through that fast, but that's a long process there to do this. And I wouldn't even blame you if you wanted to just skip this entire process. I wouldn't blame you anyways, but... Now the floor is tucked down nicely into the ground. It's not going to get into the doorway or block it for that matter. But I do want to go a little bit closer here and just look to make sure. I mean, that's about as good as I'll ever get it. I'm going to take a break from all that grunt work. Let's go up top get this power hooked up so I can get the lights and all that good stuff going. I'm going to move this generator around a couple times and that's really just so I can make room for all of the junk that I'm going to be putting up here. One of those things is going to be turrets and I'm just going to set this on a table up here. And the window that it is facing is the small window. I tried it out with the wider window and it did seem to work better. But I want to show you a test I did with this small window just to make sure it actually does work. It is firing straight through there, isn't it? Yep. Once it becomes active, that is, it can do it. So before I start taking those turrets and moving them, I want to take the power and get it outside of the building. I'm just going to run these conduits through the walls just like that. You, not every wall is the same. Some walls you can do that too, some walls you can't. You just have to try it. Uh, I guess you could just stick it through with a carpet. Now, I'm using two turrets in this example. I don't actually keep both turrets right here. I think I move one onto the other side of the building. The wire on this conduit down here in the middle is going to hit the table if I try and wire it straight to those. So I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. That way it can reach just right up over the edge of the tables. And then I don't, you know, that's weird that that turret is working. I'm going to sync these up. So I'm going to turn it off and just get them synced up. There we go. Okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to hit. Most of the complicated stuff is out of the way. There's still a few tricks I'm going to do with the lights and uh, the mats. And I just want to try and hide it all. But right now I just want to put all these crafting benches down. Just trying to find places they look kind of appealing and useful. And you know they don't need to be perfectly lined up. I know I have an OCD issue of doing this.
a little bit more light over here in the corner and okay so this will give us a little bit of light too Th that'll be helpful and okay so I, I got a problem with this being on wood floor I'm gonna have to change that to some kind of concrete and I'm gonna go ahead and change that one to match it mm -hmm. now let's go inside I don't want these wires to show. I hate navigating through a spider web of cords. So I'm going to take it up top and just run it straight through that ceiling there. Ooh, yeah. Just going to drop it down right here, at least for right now. It'll be fine right up here. And I'm going to do this a couple times. There's a few things I need to bring the wires straight up through the roof for. It's important to remember that the roof needs to go on first before you connect the generator to anything with the power. If I had those cords connected, I would not be able to place that roof. I'm going to go ahead and hide a trap behind this door. This radiation emitter is you know, doing about 27 rads. I have a little bit of radiation resistance. Not a lot. But, I mean, it's enough to scare people away, maybe. Not enough to kill them. You could probably add some other traps with it. I just want, I just want it there to scare people and just use it for the example for this building. I'd like to have a couple ways to activate that trap. Just in case I want to do it manually, I could just hit the switch. I'm going to take two of these conduits, put them on a rug, and just move the rug a couple times. And I guess this is a, technically a mat, but it's still called a rug. So I'll pick that up once I've moved it a couple times. And I'll just take it up top. As soon as I figure out which way is the quickest. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm going to take it down here and drop it down. Now that's just going to have all the wires to that switch run straight through the ceiling, just like we did before. Only I'm doing it with two this time. That's what it looks like right there. Now I want to show you where those wires actually go. This one goes to this conduit from the generator. And then from that conduit down to the switch, back up to the other conduit, and then out to where the power is going to connect everything. I had a pressure plate here at the door before, but I think I like the laser better. So I'm just going to take this laser, hook it up to the emitter, and then I, okay, so this laser cannot be connected to the same conduit that the emitter is hooked up to. I'm going to go up top and show you what I'm talking about. That conduit there has a switch connected to it. So I need a, another conduit that is different than that. And then I'm just going to take that conduit and then run it straight to the power. So that one is always connected. The other only works when the switch is on. So I got a lot of budget left over and I thought I would use it to give a shout out to a good buddy of mine. I've known him for oh, probably 12 years now. He goes by the handle of Shepherd Creations and let me tell you, it's some of the best cosplay I've ever seen. I mean, he does 3D modeling too. It's not just for cosplay, but I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. You can check that out. Once again, our time has come to an end, but I will be back next week. It's going to be big. You don't want to miss it.
If you like this video, hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. I'll see you next time.